Hey guys, it's Surya and today is Monday. So today we're going to be learning how to solve the Mega Minx. Except this is just part one of the full explanation because the full explanation took up a lot of time. So anyway, the Mega Minx is a shape mod of 3x3. It just has more edges. I'll explain that in a second. So let's go. So at first, this looks really, really intimidating. I don't blame you. It's called an icosahedron. We have 12 pentagons arranged in this object. So we have two opposites like that. This opposites. So um, yeah, well, as you keep rotating it around, you see that only these small turns are allowed. You don't get to do any big rotations with this Mega Minx. And as you keep doing that, you come to realize that this is essentially the same thing as a 3x3, which it is. In this, you just have four edges to each side. Here you have five edges to each side. Other than that, there's really no difference. I mean, in this, because of the fact that there's four four sides, you can do slices like this, but in this, you can't. You can't do, like, double layers as well. That's something you can do in this, but you can't do it in the Mega Minx. You get to do only these small rotations. I suppose that's a bit frustrating. Yeah. So, just another thing to note. Uh, to note. Um, you will remember that I posted a video on cube notations. In that, I said that there are only three notations that are used in this there's u there's d and there's r and well that's for scrambling it's not very useful when it comes to giving solutions so i won't be using that i will usually use something where i mentioned that i use this as u f r l and well the rest of them that keeps changing this would probably be br and bl Things like that. This would be FR and FL. We don't really use stuff like this. But I suppose this could D, be D down. And well this could be DR and DL. And that would be B all the way. Right on the opposite side. Well just something like that. I wouldn't make it too complicated or anything. So don't worry. You really don't need to know cube notations. But if you're curious the link's in the description below. So you're free to check that out. So now that we know that let's get into how to solve this. Okay, so it's been jumbled and wow, this does look very, very confusing. So many different colors and whatnot and so many different sides itself. You feel pretty overwhelmed by all this information. So let's just go slow. Um, let's do the same thing as we would in 3x3 because of how similar they are. Let's start with the white side. I mean, we start with the first layer, which can be anything really. But, you know, I just prefer to do the white side as do many people. So let's start with this side. Now if you'll notice, this is actually very very similar to the 3x3 as mentioned before. It has a center here, edges like this, and corners here. So we basically solve it in the same way. We first get the white cross, or in this case the white star. And then we get the white corners. And we do that to finish the first layer. And then we finish the second layer, and then the third layer, fourth layer, fifth layer, sixth layer. And then we do the last layer. And by the way, it's not actually as tough as it seems. Uh, they're all pretty much repetitions. Now, if I'll get into that later. So let's just start with this, the white star. So here we see that one edge is already matched over here. This one, it's a white and purple. Yeah, so just go slow. There's lots of colors here, so you don't want to get confused. So at this point, it's, good. it's a good idea to hold the white center down. When searching for different edges, just search by rotating the cube like this. We found another, it's over here. Now how do we get that over there? So let's just rotate this side to bring it there. But the problem with that is it would come onto the wrong side. So what are we gonna do? Well, what we can do is rotate it onto this. Just bring it onto this blue side and then rotate it correctly. There's no exact al algorithms to this, it's just logic. So yeah, let's get into the next one. We have this here, it's a white and a red. It needs to go there. So we could rotate it like this, but it wouldn't go in the right place. What we can do, for example, is rotate this side here because it needs to go there. Rotate this into place and bring it back. So there you go. It's matched. So now we just need to solve this and this. We found one more here. Sometimes it's not this easy to find, but well, they're just coming right now. So this one is a white and a green. So, I mean, you could do the same thing as I did earlier. Just rotate this to the right spot, bring it in and bring it back. But let me just show you an alternative way of doing it. So, first thing you do is just bring it into the one of these axes, one of these faces, these ones. So, just rotate it up like that. Now, just rotate these sides to bring it to the right spot. 
rotate that like that and then rotate that till there now it's in the right spot it needs to go there but it's flipped but that's okay remember that there's five sides to this now i will show you one of the advantages of having a mega mix instead of a three by three what we can do is just do this watch carefully rotate this upwards and rotate this downwards that's all with that we've basically flipped this immediately now we can just solve it the regular way and let me just show you that again in case you missed it so we brought it till here with this wavy motion of these upward sides and now we just rotate this up and bring it down and then we just solve it it's that simple so yeah there's that and well let's do the last one so the key to becoming familiar with this is to just keep practicing so we have one more here now what we can do is just rotate this entirely to the side bring this into place and bring this back let's try an alternative way of doing that so let's do the wavy motion thing again bring this up rotate this all the way it's matched for now i mean sometimes it doesn't match in that case just you know flip it as we did and then rotate into place there you go we've solved the white cross or the white star now let's get into solving these white corners Fortunately, solving the white corners is not as hard as solving these white edges because, well, for a 3x3 three three, we could just use M slices and whatnot to solve the edges. But over here, we needed to do a more classical approach. So anyway, the corners are basically the same. Let's search for one. Search for any one. Remember to keep the white side down and search like this. That makes things a lot easier. And go slowly. You'll find lots of pieces all of a sudden. We've got one here. So where does this need to go? It's a white, red, and blue. Well, it needs to go where the sides of white, red, and blue intersect. That's over here. So that piece needs to go there. First, let's use wavy motion to bring it to the right place. By the way, this is now the official term that I will be using. This is wavy motion. So let's do that. Let's rotate and rotate. We've brought it till here. So now, this is right under the place where it needs to go. Where have we seen that before? Well, in a 3x3. Just think of this as a regular 3x3, this being the down face. Just this needs to go right there. So just bring it right under where it needs to go. Rotate this down and move this twice. And bring this back up. Now it no longer needs to go from under. We just solve it the regular way. Move this to the side. Bring this down. Bring it back. And bring it up. The key to all this as mentioned before is practice so as you keep doing it you become more and more comfortable with these techniques so here right out we've got one more it's a white blue and yellow needs to go right there so you bring it in front of where it needs to go this needs to go right there we move it to the side away from where it needs to go we don't move it this way move it this way bring this down bring it back and bring it up notice that by doing that we've removed this other piece this other white piece which we can solve i mean you can do this one if you want there's really a choice you can just do whatever you want all three are here just do whatever you want but well i'm just gonna go with this one so we've got this here how do we bring it where it needs to go it needs to go there so we just do wavy motion yay it's come here so the same situation as before this needs to go there now let's just try something a little bit different well what can we do well, we can completely just rotate the piece. Remember how we found that that one edge was not matching? So we just did that flip thing and it just flipped like that and we could solve it. Let's try that with a corner. Let's try to flip this corner. Okay. So here we have this line here. Let's try to use that as a flipper. So just rotate this up and move this up. And now rotate this down twice. We've basically flipped the piece. I mean, you don't need to like completely memorize that move. Just know that if you just find a way to rotate the piece, your problem solved. I mean, you can rotate it however you want, but well, this is what I did. If you want, you can try to do a wavy motion all around the cube and bring it back to original point. That might actually twist it, but well, I'm not going to try that. This seems like a simple one. Just bring it all the way there and bring it down. That just flips it immediately. I just solve it the regular way. This needs to go right there. Move this to the side. Bring this down. Bring this back. And bring it up. There you go. This has also been solved. Let's do the last two. 
this one needs to go over there somewhere so we can do wavy motion as we search for where it needs to go so let's do wavy motion there you go and there this needs to go right there so that needs to go there let's just do it the regular way side bring down bring back bring it up and now this is one last we saw it somewhere there right just rotate like that until we find it and there you go this needs to go right there so let's just do wavy motion i mean if you don't want to do a wavy motion all the way just bring it to the top layer and then rotate the top layer to the right point like that and bring it down there you go so now let's just solve this and there you go we've finished the first layer good job now let's get into doing the second layer these edges right above the corners so now we need to solve this layer which is these edges so let's just search for one and to bring it to the right spot let's just use the same wavy motion so i don't know let's search for this one which is green and this dark purpley color so let's just search for that let's rotate it like this since we know that the piece won't be anywhere here all the pieces here have reached their right places if you cover this up it looks solved so we know that so let's just rotate it slowly first let's search around here if we don't find it then we search here so let's search we need to search for green and purple let's do that hmm, is that the one no let's see this one this one looks like it right let's check the original point yeah it looks pretty similar so let's just use wavy motion to bring it there let's rotate and rotate and rotate there you go it's brought here now if it doesn't match here we need to match it to its point right it needs to go in that way perfectly like that it can't flip and go that way so we need to match it to its side first so if it doesn't match this way it'll match this way we can easily just turn it by looking at the whole thing that's one other advantage of a mega minx so that needs to go in there so let's just do what we would in a 3x3 we move it away from where it needs to go bring this side up bring it back and bring it down now we just solve it move this side bring this side up bring this back and bring it down there you go let's do the next one hmm let's do this one this is yellow and blue i found the piece here that's why i decided to do that so let's do wavy motion to bring it there and it matches here so let's do that so i mean if we hold it say in this way let's hold it this way and solve it now let's give the cube notation and everything so it's going to be up clockwise right side clockwise up anti-clockwise right side anti-clockwise up anti-clockwise front anti-clockwise up clockwise front clockwise there you go that basically solves it but well you know i don't really use too much of cube notation in this so i mean the original thing might be more useful to you but i don't know really your choice so let's do another let's do this one blue and red so let's search where is it hmm okay oh it's right here okay we could have started in that direction so let's just use wavy motion to bring it to one of these two spots and we brought it here so that needs to go right there this time it's the other way so let's do that we just do up clockwise bring this away from where it needs to go left side anti-clockwise up clockwise left side clockwise up clockwise again front clockwise up anti-clockwise and front anti-clockwise there you go now let's do this one because the piece is right here but sometimes you may find it in random spots i'm not doing this on purpose so this doesn't match here therefore it should match here let's bring it there this needs to go right there let's do what we just now did this to the side bring this up bring this back and bring this down solve the regular way there you go that one's also solved let's see is there anything left well yeah this one's left it's a yellow and dark purple 
let's oh it's right here yikes you know i'm just gonna like scramble it somewhere so that we can actually get a piece of searching for it you know we can get the feel of searching for it yeah i don't know where it's gone so let's just search for it you know well is it here no it's not here it's not here we need to search for yellow and purple let's see oh it's over here okay now let's use wavy motion to bring it to its point let's go there Rotate like that and there you go we brought it to its spot doesn't match here matches over here now we'll just decide bring this up bring this back bring it down and solve the regular way there you go and when i say solve the regular way i mean solve this corner the regular way you know when it's in this position just move it to the side bring this up bring this back and bring it down like what we did in the first layer that's what i mean so now that we've solved this layer let's go on to the next step which is solving these corner pieces above the second layer pieces okay so good news this particular step of solving these lower pieces not to be confused with the upper pieces is one of the easiest in the mega minks we just move them to their place that's all now that all of these are solved we just search for these pieces like this we hold the cube this way and rotate it but with a slight forward tilt so that we can see the entirety of these pieces as well so anyway let's start with any one let's start with this one peach red green so let's just search for it where is it so let's check it's usually easy to search for one of the three colors the one that stands out really so i search for all the peach colors peach pieces and each one that i encounter i check if it matches the description so yeah this one no that's not even a peach no 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 and there you go there it is it's in the top layer i mean sometimes you'll find them in the bottom layer like that in that case just bring it to the top layer and solve it notice that we cannot do wavy motion anymore because well the pieces we're trying to solve are part of the sides that will be involved in the wavy motion so i mean if you have four of them solved and the fifth one is somewhere there and needs to go there we start doing wavy motion we're going to mess up the solved pieces right so we need to bring it to the top and then solve it in so we've brought it to the top and now let's bring it to its right spot which is over there so this needs to go there how do we make sure it's in the correct orientation before it goes i mean we can't just keep doing trial and error and that can be efficient but like soon you can lose track of which orientations you've tried and which ones you've not you can get quite confused so we need one sure method of doing that so here's a simple one basically we just need to make sure that this color over here matches with this because if it does the rest one the rest of them will all as well if you see over here this needs to go over there this piece needs to go there the moment peach matches with its own center the other two will match as well so we just need to make sure one of them matches that's all we need to do so while this is in the top layer just make sure it matches so it doesn't match here or here because the piece is there in this situation all you need to do is this rotate it this way and rotate this layer back that's it i'll do it one more time for you this is over here rotate it and bring it back that's it now most of the time you will encounter a situation where this peach color of yours is over here or there in those situations just rotate it to the right spot if it's over there it matches in this position if it's over there it matches in this position if it's on the top you need to do what i did you need to twist it out so it matches in one of these two so twist and twist that's it now that it matches just move it into its place there you go let's do that for the rest and make sure let's say you're searching for some piece and it's over here make sure that when you bring it out you make sure to put this piece back in so if we say want to remove this one i mean i know it needs to go right there but let's say this piece over here needs to go somewhere and we need to bring it to the top layer we can't just do that and then move it into place we need to keep in mind that we've already solved this and need to make sure that it doesn't mess get messed up so bring it to the top move it out of the way bring it back and then we continue with our work we know we, you know we bring it to its place we rotate it in all of that so anyway now that we've completed this let's get into this one it's blue green and dark purple it's right here so it doesn't match here it matches here it's in its right orientation just twist it in that one's done let's search for this one 
purple, yellow, orange. Let's see where can we find that. Oh, it's right here. Okay, purple, yellow, orange. Yeah, it matches. So the orange is right there. So we can just rotate this this way, and it matches. Rotate it into place. There you go. Solved. Let's get into the next one. Green, blue, yellow. And that one is also here. You know, I'm just gonna jumble it somewhere so that we can get a feel on how to do it. Let's bring it in there. Yeah. Anyway, green, yellow, blue. Let's search for it. And it's over here. I totally did not know that. Haha. <laughs> so anyway, this is here. We need to get it to the top layer. And as I said before, now that these two are solved, we need to make sure we don't mess them up. So we bring this up, move this to the side, out of the way, and we bring this back in. Now that it's solved, we can go about our business. Let's bring this to the right spot. Needs to go right there, right? This one needs to go there. Let's make sure it's in the correct orientation. It doesn't match here and it doesn't match here. Just rotate and twist. There you go. Now move this into place. It matches. Let's do this last one. It's a pink, blue and red. Let's search for that one. Wonder where it went. Here it is. Now we do the same thing as before. We, be we need to be careful that we don't mess these two up. Bring this up, move this aside and bring this back. It's still solved. Now bring it to its place, which is here. No wait, it's not there. It's over here. This needs to go there. And rotate it into place. There you go. Now that that's done, let's get into the next step, which is solving these edges, the ones right above these. So the fourth layer, which is this one, is a repetition of the second layer. It's a slightly altered version and is quite a bit trickier. So just like buckle up, kind of. So you need to, uh, let's just use this as an example. I've already placed this edge here for an example. So we need to solve this peach and green, which is right here. And the edge is there. So how do we bring it in there? Now we have an algorithm for the second layer, which would bring this piece in there. But we don't want it in there, we want it all the way there. But here's an idea. How about we bring this corner over here first, in, in, in the beginning, before doing anything. Just bring it there, that's all. And now we use the second layer algorithm to solve this, to bring this in there. That would essentially match these two together. Because that is the essential goal. We don't need to bring it into place. We need to bring it beside this. So as soon as we have that, we can just move it back into place. This will make more sense when I explain it. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to match this edge. This edge either matches with its side or not, right? So in this case, it doesn't match. The peach is here, not there. So in this situation, just move it away to the other side. We just need to pretend that this is the green side because it's over here. So move it over here. Now bring this, this corner up over here, right there. So as you can see, now we understand why this is the representative green side. We have peach here and we have green here based on this corner. Now we do what we would in the three by three and the second layer of this. Move this to the side, bring this up, bring this back and bring it down. Now, as you can see, these two are matched. Move this to the side, bring this up, bring this back, bring it down. And now, just undo what you did in the beginning, just give it another twist. And there you go, we've solved it. So let's just try that a few more times and you'll get the idea of what I'm saying. So let's do this one. It's blue and dark green. Let's search for it. Where do we find it? Blue and dark green. That's right here. So first bring it into the top layer. Now, of course, in many situations, just like the three by three, you will find a case where one of these edges is already attached to a different one, a wrong one. I'll explain what to do in that case in a minute. Basically, you do what you would in the 3x3. Three three. Just bring another piece into that place. And then that would push that piece out. And then you solve it the regular way. Anyway, bring this to the top layer. So this piece right here needs to go there. Right? Yes, this needs to go there. And in this case, it matches right here. In which case, you'll first move this out of the way, give this a twist in this direction, not this direction, because we need this edge to move here. So we need that to become the second layer. So called second layer, it's hard to tell. So this one becomes the second layer. 
Now we bring it back. Now this piece needs to go right there. If that makes sense. It does. So now move this away. Bring this up. Bring this back. Bring it down. Notice how it doesn't affect any of these two. That's pretty neat. So anyway, now we just move this to the side. Bring this up. Bring this back. And bring it down. And then we give it another twist. That's all. Now let's do the next one. Which is this. Where did that piece go? There it is. Blue and purple. So let's match it here. It matches like this. Let's move this the other way. And bring this here. Give this a twist. Now that piece needs to go right there. To the right. Now here's what you do with the algorithm. This is U, F and R. So you just go up clockwise. Right side clockwise. Up anti-clockwise. Right side anti-clockwise up anti-clockwise, front anti-clockwise, up clockwise, front clockwise and then you undo the twist with another front clockwise. There you go, that one's also solved. Let's get into this one, orange and purple. Let's search for it. Where can we find this? Orange and purple. Well here it is, it's attached to another just like I said. So now let's search for another random piece. Let's pretend that this one needs to go there. We don't need to worry about its orientation. Just bring it there. Pretend it needs to go in there. So just bring this up here. That needs to go there. So just do the same algorithm. And twist it back in. That has removed the piece that we needed. Which is well, this one. This orange and purple. It's gone over here. So now let's bring it. It does not match here, which means we bring it there and we bring it here. So now this piece needs to go right there to its right. So we do the exact same thing as before up clockwise, right side clockwise, up anti clockwise, right side anti clockwise. And now up anti clockwise, front anti clockwise, up clockwise, and front clockwise. And now we just undo the twist. There you go. It's been solved. Let's do the next one, orange and yellow. Now be careful, okay? These three colors are very easy to mix up. So just watch out for them. So let's go. Where can we find these two? It's right there. It matches right there. So let's just give this a twist first. Move this out of the way because it matches here. We can't just twist it like that. This problem does not occur when it doesn't match. It goes up there and we just twist it without it affecting anything. Let's move it out of the way. Twist this up that it needs to go there and twist it back. So now this piece needs to go right there. Now move this to the side, bring this up, bring this back, bring this down. Move this to the side, bring this up, bring this back, bring it down and move it again. There you go. Let's do the next one, yellow and light green. Where did that piece go? It's right there. First bring it to the top layer. Fortunately, it's not attached to a different piece. So we can just move this up side and down. And it's been removed just like that. So that needs to go there. First move it out of the way and give this a twist and bring it back. So now this piece needs to go to its left. We haven't done that so far. So let's just take the algorithm for that. So this is up, front and left. L. So here you go. First move it away. Up anti-clockwise. Left side anti-clockwise. Up clockwise and left side clockwise, up clockwise again, front clockwise, up anti-clockwise and front anti-clockwise and just undo the twist that you gave it, there you go, let's do the last, oh boy this lot, this 10, so we need to do all 10 and as you keep doing you just keep getting faster and faster, so let's do that, green and blue, where did that go, it's over here, bring it to the top layer, match it to its place, right there so I'll give this a twist right here this needs to go there so do the algorithm for it and undo the twist that's it let's get into the next one which is pink and blue where did that go pink and blue oh it's over there now what we can do we can either remove this piece by bringing in another or we could just bring in the right piece there that would bring this out and bring this in but well that can take a lot of effort 
you know maybe that piece is in a different place like in this one these two are just switched so yeah it's easier to just bring in a random piece in there so that needs to go in there just bring this there give this a twist and bring it back that needs to go there just do the algorithm necessary and there you go the piece has been removed here it is now we just bring this where it needs to go give this a twist that needs to go right there do the algorithm necessary just twist and there you go do the algorithm and now bring it back and by doing that the piece that was over here needs to go there it has been removed where did that go it's over here now that piece needs to go right there so move it out of the way and give this a twist and bring it back so that needs to go right there side bring it up bring it back and bring it down and do the rest of the algorithm and there you go this has also been solved just the last and final finally this is a peach and red where would that go it's over here so that needs to go there give this a twist first that goes there and do the algorithm necessary and there you go undo the twist and with that we are done with this so in the next part we will solve this co this corner the fifth layer sixth layer and the last layer